What's going on guys, welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Insurgents. In the last episode, we made it through the Cave of Steam here to Utira Town, and... We have been exploring the Utira Library. And, um... Yeah! So, without further ado, we got ourselves caught in the story. Let's, uh, continue. An abandoned wing. Nice find, Tristan. This just might be where the prophecy is stored. I agree, nobody knows the prophecy except for the cult leaders. It would have to be hidden somewhere most people wouldn't look. Oh ho ho! Oh, this is that fucking Zachary guy. Are you three going into the abandoned wing? May I ask what interest what it, it interests you? Oh, we're going to look for a very old book, sir. We're trainers, you see. We're trying to take down the cult, and we figured that one that, that one prophecy about them might be back here. You see or I see it. You'd be surprised at how many people looked for that prophecy. <sighs> Tourist. I'll let you in if you want. This, oh, ah, ah, oh, oh god, my hair just got in my mouth. That was disgusting. There's no prophecy back there, but there's that one glowing orb. An orb? What do you mean? That's right. It's been there since the library was built. It's only one of many different odds and ends lying around in the wing. For whatever reason, people still believe it has something to do with the prophecy, so they'll try to get it to react to them. I've seen hundreds of people leave disappointed. Do you really want to waste your time? Well, we may as well try, right? Damien, for once in your life, you're right. Listen, please. I'll promise we'll be quick. Fine, but we really need to be fast. I have lots of things to do today. Alright, it's unlocked. The glowing orb is in the far end of the band wing. I'll take you to go see it. Be careful though, there's are both wild Pokemon and possibly trainers even back here. Let's go find out what the future holds. So what I don't get is that Why are there trainers and Pokemon back here? Yo. Dead arse? On jaw This is some fire. This is some this is a fire encounter. I missed? No. I don't know when the level this thing gets earthquake. I don't want to play these games. I really don't want to play these games. This one thing can kill, like, everything on the team. Thrash? Uh, stop doing all this damage. <sighs> Excuse me. I feel so bad, because it seems like every fucking video, I burp. Can you stop doing... You're doing all that damage to yourself. He just did take down Rocky Helmet, rough skin damage. Right there. And that was a lot. That's a lot of damage. Oh, of course, he just doesn't... Just doesn't stand the ball. Having a mammal time wouldn't be bad at all. Like... Same. Thrash. Alrighty. Shh. All right. Shh. Don't know what to say there. Other than wow. I just don't, don't know what to say. Don't know what to say. The only thing I will say is that we're grinding in between this <laughs> this episode and at least the next one. Because what the hell is going on? What the hell is going on in this game? So... I know we just lost Bruce, and I'm not, like, bothered by- I'm, I'm growing numb. I'm growing numb to the fact that we're losing Mons at this point. That's not healthy. And that just can't- that can't be- that can't feel right. That we've lost 18 Mons already, and honestly, we haven't even made it that- like, we're only, what? This will be episode 16? You know what? fucking throw them on the team. So we'll have three mons, which that's... Actually, no. We're not throwing 
pay you on the team. Because I think Rusev here is the fact that it's level 50 is just going to be a good thing to have. Because if a fairy type, if we encounter a fairy type, like the the only fairy type that can shut us down is a Gardevoir. That's pretty much it. Because, I mean, Klefki, Mawile, I can take him out with Infernape. Um... Fairy Water, Azumarill. Azumarill dies to... Muff. Whoa. Glaceon was trying to go for blood. Glaceon was trying to go for blood. It still is. It still fucking is. So I actually had a... I guess a topic, per se, uh, when it comes to this video. And, uh... It's because this video is going to be way, way, way in advance uh, to when it actually, like, is uploaded. So, today, to, so today's May 1st, and uh, if you follow Twitter, you'll see that, um, you know, I, I, you know, I like tweets and stuff, you know, involving my friends, because that makes sense. You, you like things because, uh, you know, like, you, you show intrigue in it. And uh, one of my friends, she had made a, like, she's a very talented artist, like, good at painting, good at whatever. Um, if, I, I would kill to have the talent that she has, to be honest, when it comes to art anyway. I'd kill to have that ability to be that good to do art, but she had made an art, uh, like, a painting, and... At our school, she had like she had like a whole display case to herself, um, f you know, artwork that she did mainly because she's I I'm assuming it's because like she's a senior and you know she's leaving and she's one of the best people at art in our entire senior class. But uh, one of her pieces of art had been removed from that, um, it had been removed from the display case, uh, due to the fact that the, the piece of art had showed, like, it showed boobs, but the boobs were, like, uncovered, so basically, like, you, you saw, you saw, like, you saw, you literally saw boobs, so it's just uncensored. And this is, you know, me being 18 years old, I don't think we should be treating that like it needs, to, like, I'm not saying that it needs to be shown all the time, but it should, I don't think it should be hidden, per se, just because we don't trust younger kids at our school. Just because they're immature doesn't mean that her artwork should have to suffer for it. So, like, today, we... Well, I found out... Because I know she, like, paints a lot. And a lot of time on Twitter, I'll see... Uh, like, if I'm not going on there to look at it. Um, like, you know, the stuff I usually follow... Or the stuff I'm following. It's, uh... Usually, I'll see, like, some of her artwork that she has done. And I usually like, I tend to usually like, like it because, I mean, come on now, that art is, it's fucking amazing. But, um, yeah, since like the school took down the, uh, piece of art, she posted on Twitter about it and a bunch of people, I mean, a bunch of people have been, uh, vocal when it comes to them doing that because it's it's fucked up and i i mean i i can see why like the administration or like the school would want to make that move because of the fact that it's nudity but i mean come on now this is going to be one of those dumb quotes that i make right now everybody has boobs guys have them girls have them 
it's just a th it's just nature. So really, like censoring it makes you look kind of childish. And if a and anything, she's going to. Um, I remember because today, because she's she runs track, uh, and she's on track team with like me and a bunch of like other people, including my girlfriend. Uh, and I was walking out with my girlfriend today, and she was like, uh, "Are you gonna want a shirt?" And I was just like, "Uh, what shirt? Like, what's the shirt gonna be?" And she just assumed that I wanted a shirt. And you know, it's not that I I would say no, because a free T-shirt is a free T-shirt, and you know, you can you can never really like the only time you could go wrong with free clothes is if it's literally like made of crap material, but. Uh, so basically, the shirts are gonna kind of be like a form of protest, but it's like a peaceful protest because she, we're trying to send a message saying that, like, regardless of what type of art it is, it should be allowed up there. Because really, the art piece itself wasn't meant as, like, to be sexual. It's just, it's... It has another message behind it, and they failed to, um, I think they failed to see it that way. But, one other thing, and I, I loved, <laughs> I loved, uh, when I was driving home with my girlfriend, because she was describing to me, like, what the t-shirt is, and it's basically, well, I mean, I can go on Twitter right now, and find it, and kind of sum it up, I know this is really unprofessional, but I mean, I put on there saying that I want to get a, a t-shirt, um, cause, I mean, come on now, yeah, so it's basically like, the message saying like, uh, this painting was merely cent centralized on the, uh, indecision that women go through Oh, like what women go through and society has taught women to be ashamed of their bodies due to all women being subject to patriarchal op oppression and blah, blah, blah to point out how and you know she was expressing this through her art so it makes sense why she painted this and she said in response to this and how you know our school reacted to said painting she's uh, shirts are going to be ordered and the shirts will be in black and it's, uh, once we get the t-shirts, we're wearing them all to school. I, I'm definitely for the movement, because it's just, it, like, the fact that they instantly thought of it being sexual makes them immature. That doesn't make the kids immature at all. That makes them immature. So... Yeah. Anyways, uh, the reason why I find it so great is the fact that we're calling the t-shirts because since they involve, um, boobs, we're calling them titty t-shirts. A1 nickname. I'm glad that someone came up with that. Anyways, let's continue on with the story. Are we all here? Is that glow over in the back? That's the orb that supposedly has to do with a prophecy. It seems like a load of rubbish in my opinion. I thought that was even a prophecy. It was probably just a legend. But anyways, go ahead. Get this over with. Oh, sh Who... dares... wake me? What was that? W what's happening? This has never happened before. It's so good to be awake again. What do we have here, house guest? If you're after the prophecy, you'll need to work harder than that. That's right, I'm the one who wrote it long ago. But you're dead wrong if you think I'd just tell you. Huh? I was a prophet of... What? I was a prophet of Arceus and the Oracle of Delphox. I've been preaching before... I've been pre preaching since before Homo was created. So, circa like 2002 is what I'm hearing. If you want to know... Th ah, hair in my mouth again. If you want to know the secret of the future, you'll have to take it by force. Come on, my guy. I did not... 
want to fight you. Ancient Oracle. Okay, yeah, Tardy Dial. Whoa! He lived on one. The fucking nerve of this little asshole. This little asshole to live on one. Piplup? He's gonna have a team of starters? Hydro Pump? Oh, he missed. Wait, why? How did. He literally has a team of water types. That's crazy. I'm glad that our fucking torpedo died because, you know, Slowpoke could be taken care of right now, but. Just, just won't be the case. Alright, Slowpoke's down. Zorork. I'm gonna stay in because I don't know. Okay, so it's... It's Delta Lucario. This thing is a ground type. I know that. Is it just pure ground? I feel like it's ground steel, if anything. I don't... I don't remember. Level 51. Oh, it's. Oh, it's a mega. So it's a Delta. or it's a mega Delta. Lucario. Sandstorm? Uh. Okay, so it's just. Just ground type. Okay. Just trying to learn Oblivion Wing. I'm gonna get rid of Double Team. Or Roost. Just get rid of Roost. Because Roost. I don't see myself clicking Roost. Especially because of Oblivion Wing is Roost, but damage. <sighs> no. Wait. This bitch just got rid of that aura, which was the whole, like, the whole thing behind the prophecy. Heh. <laughs> Not bad. Alright, I'll spill the beans. This prophecy has been under misunderstood many, many times. Even cult leaders have never heard the correct version. Wait, so they don't know what the real prophecy is? That's right. I'm not going to read you the entire thing. It's a terrible poem that's Eden misinterpret. I don't want to be that oracle, you know. I like how he had to say, ahem, like, I need to do that. <clears throat> I hope you're ready. <clears throat> the first thing predicted was the emergence of a hero chosen by a legendary Pokemon. Secondly, the hero was will succeed. Undefeated in Torin, they'll move on victorious. The last secret piece of information is that the, in the end, the hero will join the Infernal Cult and betray their friends. That's basically... Wait, one of us is going to join the Infernal Cult? Yeah, what? You can't leave us with that? Who's the hero? How can we stop that from happening? You can't avoid fate, Nora. That's why it's called a prophecy, because a prophecy never lies. I... Alright, whatever. Well, you can't say he doesn't have a flair for the dramatic. This reminds me that author L, Frank Baum, when, did one interest. Oh, shut up! How can you say, 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 say? That doesn't say say, that says stay! How can you stay so calm? We were just told one of us is a traitor. This isn't time to joke around! Well, he did say that you'll get rid of cults, right? I'm a librarian. As prophecies go, I've heard far worse. Plus, nobody knows about this, right? You can use that to your advantage. Anyways, people are probably waiting for me at the front desk, but I need to head back. Let me know if you need any more help with, well, whatever library stuff I can help you with. See you around, heroes. Nora, please, listen, don't panic about this, okay? Don't panic, Damien. We just 
We were just told that we're going to lose. People are going to die. Worrying about this isn't going to help. We need to work together if we're going to make this, or if we're going, we need to work together. Oh my god. We need to work together. If we're going to let this make, let this make us turn on each other, we might as well give up now. Oh, criticizing me already, Damien. You know, if I were an Inferno cultist I, in disguise, I, I wouldn't draw attention to myself. But of course, you wouldn't know anything about tact. Will you, or would you? Not Mr. I ran my mouth in front of cultists and got kidnapped in a garbage dump. Nora, that's my line, first of all. So, if anything, I'm about to give you the roast hands. First of all, you don't take the words out of my mouth because this dumbass decided to run his mouth. Second of all, you acting like this doesn't make for good teamwork. That's just all I'm going to say. Nora, please stop. You know what I think, Damien? I think your stepmother was right about you. I'm going to go now. I'll see you in Sonata City, Tristan. There's a gym there, and we'll need its badge in order to dive. Why did I say all of that? I don't even know what came over me. I feel awful. I need, I'm going to go apologize. I really hope I didn't hurt him. I can't lose somebody else. Damien, wait up. Well. On top of the titty t-shirts that I mentioned, Nora and Damien are flipping out over this prophecy. Which, to be fair, the fact that a prophecy never lies, and the fact that you just find out that, oh yeah, uh, one of your friends, one of the people that you're around right now is actually going to betray you and join the cult. But, I mean, I'm not going to spoil anything, but jo the joining of the Infernal Cult, someone in that room is joining the Infernal Cult, and because it's a Pokemon, excuse me, fuck me, I'm sorry. Uh because it's a Pokemon game and you're the protagonist. It can't be us. It just cannot be us. It's the Sceptile of Dragon Dancing in front of my fucking face. Be gone, thought. I just want to get, can I like get out? Thanks. Thank you. Oh, we're not done yet. What the fuck? Where the fuck is the fucking way out of here? Um, did I? I don't think I found the new moon. Was it? It was new moon, right? The one that I had to find for, uh, to get the old lady. Like, to get, uh, something from the old lady. There was a ladder around here. I swear to God there was a ladder around here. Unless it's down here somewhere. Yeah. Okay, the ladder was down here. Because we, we found New Moon in this room. So I'm assuming that New Moon is going to be on one of these books in this room. And this book is purring. I know we, I know we checked the... Uh, most of the books in this room in the last part. But, real, really, it doesn't hurt to check again. Dubbed anime and why it's not bad as you think. Uh, how and how, is, let's hope Persephone doesn't see this one. Supper floor is bizarre. So do I not find, do I not find the book on... Unless I already found the book, and it's just a different book and not new, the new moon condition. Because I, I don't, I don't know if I've already. I feel like I've already. I feel like I've already encountered the book that she would want to see, right? I, I can't be tweaking there. I mean, I, I very well could be tweaking, but I don't know. What house was she in? This one. Right, it was you. Moonland healing moves. Oh, I did find that. Central wing, middle column, yes. 5,000. We have $46,000. We are definitely grinding after this uh, this episode. 
Because I can get my entire team up to fucking level... Over level 50. First encounter on Route 8. Delta sniping. He's a water type. Ooh, a water, a water. Um, what do I want to call them? a delta? A delta sniping. Um, I feel like a good name for delta sniping would be. I mean. I usually name, like, there's... He looks regal, though. So, like, what... What are some, like, interests... I'm gonna look up, a, like, uh, king names. Like, interesting king... King names. Uh, king names. Sebastian, Owen, Roman, Kingston, uh, Let's just call it... Let's call it Louis. Louis? Louis? That's Louis. I don't fucking know. Marty, Marty Saint... I think it's Saint Louis. You just don't pronounce the S. But honestly, that's a dope... Dope, 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 dope... Encounter to get. Um, I will go and pick him up because... You got me fucked up if you don't think I'm gonna put a water type on my team. Uh, especially that. Because I think he evolves into a dragon type. Which, I mean, you know, duplicate typing isn't the first, I think. But, he's got multi scale? Hello? He's got multi scale? What's his fucking moose at right now? Wait. He's got dive already. Does that mean I can use I can't use it because I need it to I need to have the bat. Are you fucking sick? Multi-scale, he's Tim in nature. If this is like any if this is anything like a regular superior, Tim in nature is like the best fucking nature to get. Holy shit. Holy shit, holy shit, holy shit, that's a great Great, 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 great encounter. Minin, I wouldn't have been happy with a Minin, but I probably still would have used it because just something different. Just something different, that's why. Dratini. Oh, that would have been interesting. I mean, I would have been, I mean, I think I'm grinding up to 55 now, so. Um. It honestly wouldn't be that big of a deal if I uh oh explosion I'm glad I, I'm glad I swapped but whatever this man said he was looking for a hidden grotto for ages so that means there's a hidden grotto on this route I just don't know where it would be um besides I don't know where the I don't know have my map Oh, this is the this is the fucking route. This is the route that takes us into uh, the area where we can revive the fossils. Oh, Delta Sunflora, I think you're. I want to say you're fire poison. Double edge. Okay. 
But yeah, I think 55 should be... Why did he miss Sludge Bomb? Hold on, why did that thing... Why did he just miss Sludge Bomb? I'm actually, like, concerned. Why did he just miss Sludge Bomb? Sludge Bomb has 100% accuracy. Unless that thing has an ability that, well, you know, hinders it. Um, that'd be kind of... <laughs> that'd be kind of sad. Psychic? Ooh, that took a lot. <laughs> Alright, so we beat you. Uh, we're looking pretty spiffy. The next video, honestly, might just be us, uh... Exploring the town, maybe getting ourselves into a little mischief. Maybe. Oh, there's Snorlax right there. Uh, what do you want? You should always examine every nook and cran cranny. And you never know what you might find. For any By looking under Celine City, I saw a rundown uh, tower chock full of rare Pokemon. Well, that's. There's a TM for a rare weather-inducing move in the interior library. I looked around. Oh, that's just. That's just um. New Moon, he's talking about. That's just New Moon, he's talking about. That's just, that's just it, Chief. Um, if I don't get stuck on the stairs. Finally out of school, I'm ready to kick some butt. Alright, Tommy, and your Onyx. Yo, I, I'm just realizing how much of a fucking, like, necessity water typing is and for, like, Pokemon. There are so many mods that just die to water. Also, water's just a good, like, defensive type. I'm not saying that this Snivy's gonna be a defensive mod or anything like that. Hariyama, are you alright? So, I'm assuming you're supposed to have a Hariyama. Just, just assume that. Uh, what's this over here? A Max Pill. Okay. Wait. Okay, so there's a grot. There is a grotto over here. I know in this route that there is a grotto. But I just don't know where exactly this grotto is at. Oh, it's over here somewhere. Yep, it's right there. I can see it. Alright, we're gonna take our time, go through this grotto. I mean, if there's a Pokemon, which there is, it's a Delta Munchlax in the overworld, but realistically, it is a... That's... Ah! Uh, I... I'm not, like, upset. I'm not upset with the next cloud. It's just I don't see myself using it. I mean, you never say never, I guess, because... In one of my run-throughs of... I think it was... I think it was X and Y. Uh, I used a... Love Disc, and it was complete booty cheats. That Heracross just did so much damage to me. Um, can you please stop? Reversal? Yeah, that, that was gonna do nothing. So, incinerating my kill? I didn't think it was going to, actually. Oh, I should have been a little bit careful with that. I didn't know, because I thought it was gonna go for the crit, actually. So. Metagross? Um, I don't know if this is going to be Delta or not, that's why I'm going to just switch into Cynthia and hope for the best. Champ, Champ would be nice. Um, I didn't mean to click Dragon Rush there, but... Oh, ooh, a crit! Meteor Mesh. Um, we're going to dig, because I'm pretty sure I dig kills. Especially from that range, because Dragon, uh, Dragon Rush, sorry did that much damage to him. I know it was crit and all, but that was some hefty damage there. That was some hefty damage. 
Alright, Cynthia Champ gets some lovin'. Lovin'. Uh, and then the Psychic guy is the last guy I believe we have to fight. He's the last guy we need to She is the last person we need to fight before we move on. Does Dragon resist poison? I kinda hope not. No, it doesn't. Okay. Dragon Breath. You're not killing putrid. Avalog. Okay. I'm glad I wasn't Delta Avalog, because I think Delta Avalog could run a muck through our, our, our entire team due to the fact it has so much physical defense. So much physical defense. It would it would really, really, really hurt our team. Uh, let's go in this house real quick. Alright, let's fuck catch a guy. Okay. You don't need HML2 anymore. I would sell it to you, but I wouldn't. You just have it for free. Oh! Okay, and then this is. Oh. Ah, Miara Town. My favorite place in Torin. What a lovely, lovely town. It's peaceful, serene, and built over the shining sea. Of course, the world islands now rest just a route away. It's almost a shame, really. Perhaps when I flood the region, I'll leave this town for last. At last, the sea's awaking once more, and it's time to bring its king his crown. Okay, Odd Flex. Odd Flex? Okay. Odd Flex. Okay. So we made it here to the Pokemon Center. Which is dope to dope dope dope. Um I think what I'll do is buy hyper potions right now. Because we definitely have the money for it. So I'm gonna buy I'm gonna make I'm gonna buy up to tw uh twenty. So wait, I have 41,000 Poké Dollars. That should definitely be enough to get my entire team grinded up to 55. I want to say that should be enough to get my entire team up to 55. Um, is there anything in this box that I would want in place of the Why Not? Ruth is the only thing I could think of, but... Ruth is a grass poison type, so I don't really think I want that on the team. Um, so yeah, I'm going to end off the video here. If you guys enjoyed our adventures through the library and our, our talk about the uh, titty t-shirt, please do uh, leave a like down below. Um, it is greatly appreciated. Subscribe as well while you're at it. If you go into my, just if you go into the description of this video, my Twitter uh, is down there. Suzerain's Twitter is down there, and of course, the website to the game is down there. If you want to play, and if you want to play along. Anyways, I'm gonna get out of here, and uh, we're gonna go. I'm gonna go grind the team up to. 55. 55 is where I'm grinding the entire team up to. Especially now that I have the money to do so, everyone's hitting 55, including Doomsday, which I'm super hyped to be using an Eveltal. So, like I said, I'm going to get out of here, so enjoy the rest of your day if you're watching this during the day, but if you're watching this at night, enjoy the rest of your night. Anyways, I'm going to get out of here. Peace.